in the bioengineering, bioinformatics uh, major path at UCSD. I chose this major because it's extremely multidisciplinary, um, and it seemed like a good field that could spark my interest and keep my interest. Um, insofar as the topics that that are typically uh, researched or um, looked into uh, can vary from project to project. It's not just one uh, subset of scientific fields like chemistry or um, molecular biology or statistics. It's kind of an integrated field. For me, I really I like the molecular biology uh, background. Um, I kind of chose also chose this major because of the kind of inevitability of importance on computational uh, computational skills and programming, just in terms of being able to analyze large amounts of data. It's kind of where science almost in general is going, so it's just kind of a necessary skill. I think uh, the beauty of bioinformatics is that uh, each person can kind of choose. Um, the major really develops, at least um, gives you a cursory um, cursory skills in a wide variety of different topics, so it enables the student or a person who pursued that degree to have almost have more options. Uh, I'd say to initially the most influential course I took in the program is uh, Bang 183. It, it was in my case it was taught by Professor Shang Zong and I really like this course because it kind of was the first course that opened my eyes to the different, uh, to the diversity of this field and and how many different fields, how many different um, topics of science really come together in bioinformatics. And then really once further into the program, I think uh, Professor Pavel Pepsner's course, Molecular Sequencing Analysis, is really the the crux of the major almost. Um, it's really a culmination. The first class where all of the prerequisite courses you took really matter in this course, in that course, and really almost everything you've learned up to that point is, is used in the course. So I'm working uh, in a research position at the Morse Cancer Center as well as working part-time at a, a local biotech company. Um, and both of those are jobs are extremely different from one another, but they're both extremely applicable to bioinformatics in general. And that's kind of why I really like um, like this field is because very rarely you will have to be stuck in the same focus area. I mean, even if you don't like the kind of topic you're studying in a particular project, in a research project or industry, whatever you're doing in industry. Um, the next project you, you might have is probably going to be way different. Um, so both of these have really kind of emphasized how different the field in general is because and on one hand in the research I'm doing almost strictly uh, dry lab like computational projects and, and tasks whereas in the, the industry job I have I'm doing both. I'm doing a lot of wet lab and you know validation in the, in the lab as well as uh, um, employing computational skills. Um, I don't uh, I don't like either more. I, I like doing both. I don't like doing just one. I don't like just doing dry lab or just doing wet lab. I really like being able to uh, get a, a, da a data set of, um, and being able to run some, some workflow, some pipeline on that data set and then also extending that into validation in the wet lab to be able to actually kind of see all the way through that entire project. That's, that's what appeals to me. Um, in my experience, and, and speaking with a lot of the lower classmen and even upper classmen uh, in this major, the biggest overarching problem of this major is the fact that a lot of the courses in the first two or even three years sometimes are really disconnected from one another. For example, you take an organic chemistry class, which is, um, which is listed in the chemistry department, and then you're also simultaneously taking a, you know, a up-division math or statistics course uh, listed in the math department. And so each of these courses is 
it's not necessarily a bioinformatics uh, tailored course in biochemistry or in organic chemistry or what have you, but it's taught by that particular department. So a lot of times it's really hard to see how that information is relevant to what you're going to be doing. And not only that, um, it's hard to even kind of articu be able to articulate what bioinformatics is. I think utilizing um, the resources around schools, such as uh, even even other students being able to find the groups within those classes, like your own organic organic chemistry class, uh, reaching out to the people in that class that might have your major, um, because sometimes it's really hard to find those people, um, and then being involved in the um, being involved in clubs and organizations um, really helps. Uh, one one thing uh, I'm the president of the undergraduate bioinformatics club here, and one thing that we started this year is a introductory introduction to bioinformatics uh, seminar series that we hold one one a quarter, and this course is is designed to give that initial um, exposure to students about um, what a typical workflow in bioinformatics is, what kind of data you work with, what are some common tools and and um, and tasks that a bioinformatician does on a day-to-day -day basis, because that's one thing um, I think, in my opinion, and, and others that I've spoken to as well. That's one thing that is kind of lacking in the in the major is is that initial exposure to what you're getting into, and and the main challenge and reason it's a problem is because by the time you hit say the end of your third year and you're taking your first upper division bioengineering course, uh, that you're already so deep in that major that there's not really any turning back, uh, because this this major is, um, you know, essentially dabbling in all the different fields. So if you decide to change majors, it's not really like any other major. So there's just a lot of classes you you'd have to take um, to be able to change. Um, I think one thing that's really important to do is to do some research on on your own to see uh, you know what what types of jobs bioinformaticians do um, it's also really um, understanding what what your what your passion is because for the most part a lot of bioinformatics is programming and you don't get exposed to that except for the first couple of introduction introduction programming classes you're really mainly exposed to the biology side of it and so for a lot of people, it's really surprising how much programming and, and computational biology is emphasized in this major. Um, so it's, it's really important to, to look at the courses in, in the workflow charts that you get in your advising departments and, and understanding what each of those courses, um, the goals of those courses is. And with this major, I, I believe it's one of, if not the most demanding in terms of units, uh, major at, at UCSD. So um, in that regards, if you get off that course load, it's really hard to get back on track without having to take an extra year. And this course typically takes at least five years anyway. So it's really important to go at least once a quarter to the bioengineering or um, whatever major department you're uh, listed in. It's really important to go there at least once a quarter to keep up to date. With